Christopher Carrillo walked out of the Superior Court this morning a free man, no longer on house arrest or ordered to report to probation on a regular basis. Just three months ago, Carrillo was placed behind bars and held on $200,000 cash bail after customs and quarantine officers found him in possession of more than 522 grams of marijuana. Officers also seized a glass pipe, a metal grinder, packaging material, scales, and additional marijuana in his vehicle. Court documents also mentioned that individuals had purchased marijuana from Carrillo, who admitted to authorities that he smokes, quote, as much as he can up to half an ounce a week. But all that doesn't matter now because the case has been thrown out. Several weeks ago, the defense filed a motion to suppress all of the evidence and statements made during the raid at Carrillo's Tumining home that he shares with former Democratic Executive Director Carlo Branch. While the Attorney General's office initially objected to the motion to suppress, Assistant Attorney General James Collins today withdrew that objection and moved to dismiss the case against Carrillo with prejudice, meaning they cannot bring criminal charges again. The defense maintained that customs officers violated Carrillo's rights when they went into his home and seized the package containing a tracking device and drugs and Carrillo. A search warrant is required before officers can enter a home, and one wasn't obtained until after they'd already done so. A.G. Leonardo Rapata says there was a clear constitutional violation. Unfortunately, it's something you know we don't want to do, but it's it's you know for, the, for when you look at the whole system of justice, it is something that we need to do. Rapatis met with Customs Management on Wednesday to further discuss the matter. They pledged to us that they will uh, work with our office. Um, from the very beginning, you know, and they have in the past. I, I don't understand what happened in this case, but, but we have in the past worked with them, especially for uh, search warrant cases. With prosecutors on call 24 hours a day, Rapatis reminded Customs that law enforcement have access to legal advice anytime they need it. The AG says they didn't want to drop the case, but it was clear the law had been violated. When we were preparing for the motion to suppress, uh, it was after we filed the the, uh, after the motion to suppress was filed, that it came to light as to what happened specifically. And again, we look to see if there's any way we can find an exception. Is there a rule that, but we, we couldn't. Customs Director Pedro Leon Guerrero reacted to today's dismissal. Guam Customs did take one pound of marijuana off the streets. The second thing is that we do respect the, the constitutional rights of all citizens. And uh, the third thing is, as the director of Guam Customs, I have initiated a internal investigation into this matter. And it will be uh, a little premature for me to comment further until after the investigation is completed. Was the investigation launched um, today, or was the investigation launched when this was raised by the defense attorney, um, I think several weeks ago, when the motion is suppressed with file? Uh, is it launched today? Carrillo was terminated from Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's office following the arrest. When asked if he would rehire Carrillo in light of today's dismissal, Vice Speaker Cruz said he has no vacancies. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.